Both tubes have been reloaded. We are coming up to Periscope, definitely. And let's have a quick listen. Can't hear anything at the moment. There was a weird little issue that if the angle of your boat is too steep, the hydrofoam doesn't really work. So I have to wait a moment for the boat to ride itself. But we're almost there. Now at 15. And the warship didn't pick us up, so that's nice. Let's see here. Yeah, now I can hear them again. Warship 201. 200. And it sounds like the convoy is pretty much behind me. What is that? Might be the wreck breaking apart on 155. Warship on 200. To the attack periscope. We are taking a look. 200 is that way. Do I see something? Hello. That's you. That's the escort. Okay, that's over there. That looks probably like... Yeah, this is where one of the ships sank. The escort should be pretty much directly behind me. Oh yeah, there I see the ship that is on fire. Okay. But other than that, I can't see anything. At oh yeah, there's one. There's another ship. Am I at a range where I can safely surface? I don't think so, but I can yeah, speed up. That thing is currently steaming away from me, and it is pretty far. That escort. How do I proceed from here, though? I should try to gather the convoy again. And you know what? There seems to be only one escort. This one. If he is here, on this side of the convoy, searching for me, that would mean that the other side of the convoy is completely unprotected. If I can get far enough away from this guy to surface and run around the convoy, I might be able to safely engage it even while surfaced. That's an interesting thought. But I think I'm still too close to this boat. Let's see if we can identify it. It's a warship, so this is fair game. It's British, of course. One funnel. Looks like it has one gun on the bow. So it's something small-ish. It's not an ASW trawler. No. It's a Corvette. I believe it's a Corvette of some kind. Here we are with the Corvettes. What are you? Mast height 26.1. Flower class, mast height 21. Could be a flower class. By looking at these pictures and comparing it to what I'm seeing, could indeed be a flower class. If it is a flower class, then I'm looking at an optical height of... Oh, come on. One and a half, 1.6, something like that. Damn your waves. One point. Yeah, one and a half. Let's go with one and a half. One and a half for 23 kilometers. Three kilometers. Okay. Should I turn around and head that way to keep in touch with the convoy? That auxiliary cruiser that I sunk, maybe this is its wreck that is still burning oil on the surface. Um, maybe the auxiliary cruiser was the convoy's rear protection and I've just taken that out completely opening up the rear of the convoy. It's a possibility. The question that I'm asking myself right now is can I risk surfacing with this thing more or less three kilometers away? 
I think it might be a little bit too early. I can, however, turn right 10 degrees. Now what? Turn right 20 degrees. And can I increase my speed further? Is that safe? I think it should be. Do I want to take that risk though with the water being so shallow? No, I don't. We are staying at this speed, we are bringing down the periscope and we are running. Give me 10 more degrees. We are running this way for now. For maybe... 3 to 5 minutes. Yeah. Let's do for 3.5 minutes until it is... Uh, 5 to 1. Then I will bring up the periscope again. I'll take another look. And if I'm far enough away from that escort, we will surface and chase after the convoy, which might now be completely unprotected. Oh, this will be exciting. Alright. Time has passed. And the escort might be steaming back towards the convoy. So let's take a look. Hydrophone, give me bearing to the warship. No sound contact with the warship, so I think it's somewhere directly behind me. No more contact. There, there it is actually. 165. I think it's sailing back towards the convoy. It is definitely quite far away now. I think far enough away that we can indeed surface. Just to be on the safe side, I will minimize my profile by turning left 20 degrees. Let's take a look around us. Make sure there's nothing else. Doesn't look like it. Down periscope. Increase our speed. Let's wait for our speed to build. And surface. Let's hope they don't spot us. The boat is coming up to the surface now. There we go. The diesels are trying to suck in air. Very difficult right now. Come on, restart them. Oh, and by the way, I should... You are... From the rear torpedo room. I should bring the people back to their respective posts. So that they can rest a little bit. You too. Well, this one is fairly tired, so I will exchange him for this guy. Tired crew will definitely become an issue now. So I will... Quickly exchange the engine crew. They are vital. There we go, and now we are coming up to the bridge, taking a look behind us. There's the escort disappearing in the fog. I don't know if it has turned around or not, so I'm trying to determine that, but it's difficult. Oh, come on. Chief Engineer, don't yeah, recharge the batteries. Nobody's shooting at me, so that's good. Increase speed. Come on, give me a clear picture. It is over there. It did not turn around, however. I mean, it is turning over there, but I don't think it's coming after me. 
They haven't spotted me. Okay, we're good. Still, I need to get at the convoy. That means I need to turn a little bit. Uh, let's go this way here first. There they are. I'm now showing a bigger profile. But I think that it's still narrow enough that I can get away with it. I think so. And they are slowly vanishing in the fog. Ever faster now, now that we are on the surface and can run at 40 knots. They might be steaming back towards the convoy though. That's possible. Uh, turn us a bit more and since there is the oil is still burning on the surface. Actually, go this way. Bring us about. We are now chasing after the convoy, trying to get to its other side. By the way, I did. Yeah, individual attack recommended. I did receive a radio message earlier that I didn't read yet, but it was fine. We received permission to attack. Good. Build is coming about. Hydrophone is not needed right now, so he can go and rest. What about you guys? You have to rest. Yeah, that's that's fine. You are rested, so let's bring you out of there. Nobody else really is. You are pretty tired, Chief Engineer. Kind of do need you at your station, however. So yeah, just, just stay there. That's fine. Radio operator, we can exchange you. Do I have a well-rested watch crew on deck? No. We should do something about that. Let's make sure that we have fresh men up there. Well-rested crew members. Let's use you. There we go. Command room crew could be a bit better rested, so let's exchange those. Make sure that our dive times are good. There we go. So we have exchanged the most important people on their stations. That's okay now. Let's take another look towards that escort. Can I still spot it? I don't think I can. I think it has disappeared in the fog. For us, that means we are turning towards the last reported direction of the convoy, running up behind them. Oh, look how the boat is turning. That's beautiful. Let's give chase. Wait, is there something? I don't see anything. The convoy disappeared in the fog. I think it is heading back towards the convoy. And we are chasing after it. So that's good. We'll continue to do this. This will take this will definitely take some time. And we'll resume once I have them in sight again and we can start to plan another attack. Well this didn't take long. We have um, spotted the escort again. Oh, where was it? I saw it just now. There it is. It's over there. It seems to still be searching the area. I will have to be careful that I don't get too close to it. But that's not the only thing that we spotted. Ahead of us. There. A ship in the fog. Turn towards it. Maybe a straggler. 
a ship that got separated a bit from the other ships due to maneuvering maybe or something like that and we might have a chance to get it here without interference by the escort just now off to our starboard side and we are presenting a pretty big profile let's quickly determine which way this ship is going okay the bow is pointing left Come yeah, this way. Kaloi. Turn us around. Thankfully, a corvette such as this one, at this time in the war, doesn't seem to have radar. So it's pretty safe for us to do this. To surface so early and to try to run down another ship. This thing here is definitely heading towards its due. It's not the biggest target in the convoy, but it is alone. And that counts for a lot. Just have to get close enough. Both torpedoes are reloaded. If I fire the two torpedoes in a salvo and I hit... Oh, if I fire the two torpedoes in a salvo, and I hit this ship, um, then I will disengage. I won't re-engage just to fire my rear tube. Not in daylight. There will, of course, if I fire the rear tube, be a bubble trail pointing straight back at my submarine. So we are not doing that. We are keeping that rear tube as a reserve for our voyage home. Or maybe to finish off something. Maybe if this ship doesn't go down, after being hit by one or two torpedoes, we can then use the rear tube to convince it that it is time to sink. Well, well, well. Is this thing armed? Looks like it. There's a gun on the stern. Damn it. No chance for a surface attack. Turn this way. Turn this way now. Let's try. Oh my god. That was a big wave. Jeez. Let's try to get around this ship. Yeah, inside of the ship. Let's go. Well, it's not the biggest ship that I saw in the convoy, but it is pretty substantial. So, definitely a worthwhile target for us. It's now just a thing of moving fast enough that we can get ahead of it. And hopefully not getting close enough that they can spot us and call in the escort. The escort seems to be coming our way right now. Turn around. Yeah, I think they are still searching over there. They are... Oh, come on. Waves, don't be ridiculous. Yeah, they are turning. Okay. They have no idea that we are here. This ship here seems to be... anything but slow. I think they are sailing pretty fast. Is that ship even part of the convoy? I have to ask at this point, because I believe it got completely turned around. Right, we are sailing... Yeah, it got turned around. It's sailing back the way it came. Yet. But it is sporting a red flag. The English red flag. So that thing's fair game for us. Yeah, Increase to flank. Let's head it off. 
Schiff gesichtet. Faster, come on. Turn Jawohl, 20 degrees left. Give myself a bit more time. Narrow my profile. Am I gaining on this ship? I should be. I definitely should be gaining on it. Yes, I am. Quite substantially, in fact. I can't do a surface attack due to the gun being mounted on the stern. I can clearly see that there is something. Not sure if maybe there's even something on the bow. So we will have to submerge soon and then go for another submerged attack. And afterwards we will just have to get out of the area. Possibly by sailing on this course that we are sailing on right now because that will put the escort behind us. So once we hit the ship we will come to 280 and run this way. of ship are you? You know what guys, bring me the user to the bridge. The target is on 120. User. There you are. 120. Let's try to get a bit of data here. AOB looks to be pretty much 45 degrees. So let's call in the weapons officer. Let's take another look at the targets. Oh, a bit more than 45. I'm looking at its port bell with maybe 35 degrees, course 260 as a possibility, or even 250. Getting there, getting there. Okay, remove the user, I don't need to Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Jawohl, Lower Herr our Kaloin. speed. Volle Fahrt voraus. We don't need to make this much speed any longer. Okay, turn us towards the target Jawohl, we're going Herr Kaloin. in. Neuer Kurs, vier, turn, 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 come on. Select. Oh, this is fine. The course that we selected is fine. Coming around, hopefully not being spotted, and it's now time to dive the boat to periscope depth. Let's go. Hide with an operator. Tired. Okay. Bring our speed down. I don't want anybody to hear us. And we drop beneath the waves. Electric engines. There we go. Took a moment for the to change those to those. Let's listen in. That's the freighter that we are going for. Weird. 
No, that's the th way of theater that we are going for. But I can hear the convoy behind it. Okay, so the convoy is that way. And this here must be the warship. Oh, it was behind me, wasn't it? Or did I miss it turning around and trying to rejoin the convoy? It's possible. 55? Let's go to the attack periscope, take a look. 55? That way? Kontakt, Frachter, entfernt sich auf 1A. Große Entfernung. 18, we have contacts, and this is the ship that we are going for. Looks big enough, if Contact, you ask me. Frachter, entfernt sich auf Am I gaining on it? Contact, Frachter, entfernt sich auf no, they are gaining on me. Große Entfernung. Which is perfectly fine. That's fine. I want them to gain a little bit on me so that the angle Contact, Frachter, is opening entfernt up. Sich auf 1, 1. Große Entfernung. Any side of the escort? No. Contact, Frachter, entfernt sich auf sieben. Große Entfernung. Contact, Frachter, entfernt sich auf zwei, vier. Große Entfernung. We have this ship here in front of us. It is definitely an enemy ship. Either it was part of the convoy and turned around. Contact, Frachter, entfernt sich auf 1-8, große Entfernung. Or it is Contact, actually... Frachter, entfernt sich Jesus auf Christ. 2-8, große Entfernung. Or it is actually a ship that is coming the other way, which would be a huge coincidence. I think for some reason this one got turned around. Maybe. I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter either way. We are just going to attack it. I will take its speed soon. And we will estimate its course. I'm now looking at an AOB of maybe 30 degrees. That would put its course somewhere to 250 or 260, something in between. Something in between those two. Might even be looking at 25 degrees. Something like that. No, I think it's more like 30-ish. Yeah, I think course 250 is not far off the mark. Maybe 255. That's good enough. That shall serve us well enough. Okay, almost time to take a speed reading. Let's lower the periscope a little bit. I don't think they will spot us in this weather, in these waves. A periscope is incredibly hard to spot. But we should be careful. If I shoot a salvo, can I... Select those two tubes? I can. In a weird way. Tubes 1 and 2 are not selectable by itself, but I can select them together with an empty tube, and that works then. i just select all tubes. There we go. Or I will shoot them individually. I will see. For now, prepare for speed reading. Let's go. Come on, closer. Oh, damn you, wave. There we go, now. This ship has a length of... 110 meters, Contact, 120. It's too early to tell at this angle, but I would say more than 100 meters easily, less than 150. I think somewhere in the vicinity of 120. Okay, and stop. 30 seconds. 30 seconds for 120 would give it a speed of 8 knots. That's believable. Let's dial that in. That is believable. It's coming closer. We will shoot at pretty close range. We will try to shoot at relatively close range. Mast height of this thing. 
more than 25, I believe. Let's go with 28. Optical height is just above 6. Come on. Just above 6. There we go. 425. That gives me a range of about a kilometer. Is that believable? Sure. AOB is now 45. More or less. So let's take another... Oh, come on. Let's take another look here. Course to 60. Course to 60 would mean that I have to come left to 250. Uh, to 350, excuse me. To get a 90 degree shot. So let's start doing that right now. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs 350. Coming left. Lower the periscope, increase speed while we do this. Weapons officer. Open tubes one and two. Oh, and I should set up the torpedoes, by the way. Six meters. Six meters. Impact. Impact. Switch to salvo. Salvo angle two. There we go. Slow us down now. We're completing the turn right now. Target. Almost there, actually. Am I wrong about the speed? <laughs> That's the good question now, isn't it? That's a very good question. I could try something. I don't know if I have enough time for that, though. And I'm still in a turn, so it wouldn't work. Let's just go with our eight knots that we measured. It will be close enough. We can try to determine the salvo angle right now. Let's see how many degrees are you covering in my periscope. Let's go from this mast to that mast. That's... Three degrees. Let's go with two and a half. And yeah, I didn't set up the AOB properly. I am I'm at the moment where I should fire the torpedoes. Let's do it then. Torpedoes away. Both torpedoes. Running towards the target. Target is very close. All torpedoes expended. I know, I know. Come on, hit it. Raising the periscope. Torpedoes should be smacking into you now. Oh, come on. You know what? This thing is fairly high in the water. The torpedoes might have run too shallow. Uh, too deep, excuse me. I believe the torpedoes have run too deep. Turn starboard. Increase speed. I don't wanna do this, but... We do have another torpedo. Impact. Five meters. Medium speed. Is it worth it? No. Don't fire. Not fire. Stop the turn. Turn south. We are getting out of here. Damn it. No joy on the re attack. And this turn torpedo, by the time it reached its target, um, the angle would have been way too bad. I believe that my torpedoes were accurate, but they ran beneath the target. And we are now dropping down to make sure that we are not seen. And we are leaving the area. Let's get out of here. First though, once we... 
once we come down to 30 meters, we will have a listen, see if we can determine where the damn escort is. Side of phone. Do you hear a warship? Moving away. 317, long range. 317. It's there. Okay. Yeah, at this point, we are just preparing to get out of here, to get back home. So, delete all the data and let's plot the course back to Lorient. I am trying to get into the deep water first. Then we will follow that edge all the way until here. And from where we can make a fast dash through the shallow waters towards Lorient Harbor. That's the plan. Okay, Hydrofern, contact to warship. Moving away, 261. Okay. As soon as we have left this merchant behind us... My torpedoes. The merchant getting away. As soon as we have um, increased the distance to this thing sufficiently that we can surface, we will do so and we will commence the long, long journey home. That will definitely take some time. Now. For now, let's cut the video here and we'll continue once we are safely away from this place. There's the merchant sailing away. And this is a sight that I didn't expect to see. <laughs> okay. I think you guys were left behind. <laughs> um, that was very random. Very random, but also in some way kind of funny, even though it really isn't funny for these guys. Uh, bon voyage show, I guess. I think... We are going to wait a little bit before we surface. I don't want these guys to give away our position with a signal flare or something like that. Down periscope. Oh my god. That is, that is why you raise your periscope and take a look around before you surface. Jeez. Yeah, we are going to wait a bit longer. Ah. <sighs> U-55 to commander of U-boats, status report. Position, BF-15, torpedoes left on board, 1. Tanker sunk, 3. Cargo ship sunk, 3. Warship sunk, 1. Total tonnage, 47,780 tons. Commander of U-boats to U-55. Start return, home base as directed. We are on our way to Lorient. <laughs> 